The process is over. It worked. Sam Yankees assets, in a roundabout way, secured the Philadelphia 76ers a former MVP, only the third time that happened in franchise history, and now the team's energy must shift from potential to kinetic in a matter of weeks in the lead up to the 2022 NBA playoffs. Will it work? Will the Philadelphia 76ers run a parade down Broad Street in the not-too-distant future, or will this simply be the next what-if in a series of what-ifs that have haunted the team since 2013? Either way, the style Doc Rivers' team plays is about to change, and players like George Young are going to have to take advantage of its stylistic overload. George Young needs to shoot the lights out for the Philadelphia 76ers. Have you ever watched the SNL skit titled Diner Lobster? It's a weird, John Mulaney pinned musical number in the style of Les Miserables that warns against ordering the lobster at a diner, as the saltwater crustacean might have established a life and family in their new home. As Chris Red's character points out, while Big Nick's Creek Diner might technically offer a lobster, it's more for show and is even in quotations to signify that it's a joke. Why, you may ask, is this relevant to the Philadelphia 76ers? Well, because George Young is a shooter, but much like Diner Lobster, he isn't a shooter shooter. He's a three-point shooter and with James Harden set to join the team versus the Minnesota Timberwolves, that has to be the role he openly accepts moving forward. Now mind you, Myung is a very talented basketball player. He can shoot the lights out of an arena with a whip quick release from beyond the arc, play solid defense, and even set a screen or two for good measure. Moving forward, that has to be Neong's bread and butter, not driving to the basket, not taking contested twos, heaven knows not posting up, just playing the prototypical role of being a 3 and D guy. Fortunately, that's what Neong was signed to do, and the role he is very equipped to play. With James Harden and Joel Embiid, the Sixers now have two of the top 10 most double-teamed players in the NBA.